Hello and welcome back to How To Edition with Study Salesforce with Stephen. Today we're going to talk about cross object formulas. What are they and why do we use them? A cross object formula helps us bring a field from one object to another object. Again, we're looking at our separate objects here. So we already know that we have certain information within our objects. For example, let's take a look at our teachers. And if we come here to our first teacher, which is myself, we have information in each field, our teacher number, first name, last name, and our different kinds of information in here. Now, some people have been asking me, well, why did I do this merge field? And there's many different reasons why we have a merge field. You can use them in emails, reports, many different things. But today I'm going to show you a different purpose also with a cross object formula. Here I have teacher's name. It has the teacher's full name and then also the teacher's number. This is a great example of a cross object formula. Now, before we continue with a cross object formula, what do we need to have between our objects to be able to have a cross object formula? Some kind of relationship. It could be a master detail relationship or a lookup relationship, but you have to have some kind of relationship in between these objects in order to create a cross object formula. So for today's example, we are going to get a cross object formula between teachers and students. What I would like to do in this example is I want under our student, let's take a look at the student we've already created. We have our student number, first name, last name, email, native language, and age. So we also have our teacher, but under the teacher, we see TN0001. Now I know that's me, but if we wanted to take a look to see what teacher this is, we actually have to click on this field. And this brings us back over to our teacher object. Then, but what if I want to just under this student, see who this teacher is? we can create a cross object formula to populate that field in this object. Let's find out how to do this. Now, of course, one of my favorite ways is I jump over here to my settings and edit object, which I already have open. And what did we mention that we needed to create a cross object formula from one object to another? Can you remember? That's right, we need a relationship. And already in this one, we have a master detail relationship. But it could be a lookup relationship as well. But you have to have a relationship between the objects. So remember, this is a formula. So let's create a new field. Under here, let's jump down to our formula, which is right here. I almost bypassed it. Let's click Next. In here, let's just put in teacher's name. Excellent. Now for the formula return type, this is actually going to be a text because it's a teacher's name. Next. And we're going to put in under advanced formula. Now this is actually quite easy to do. I can put an insert field under student, what was that related object again? Let's scroll down. It was the teacher. Now we see all the fields here under the teacher object. Remember when I did that merge field? What was that called? The teacher's name. Let's insert that right here. And that's it. That's the formula that we have to do. But let's check it. Click check syntax, come down, and there are no errors. And come over here, 
our next, next save, next, next save, as we like to say. And let's click save. Now, if we come back over to our production org and let's refresh, what can we see that's changed? Let's come down here. And now we can actually see the teacher's name, TN-001 Stephen Pricer. But that doesn't look very pretty. How can we make this look a little better? If you guessed it, page layout. Let's jump over to our page layouts. And again, I'm under settings. And all I have to do is come over here and I'm gonna move teacher's name right under teacher. And let's click save. Excellent. Let's come back to the production side and click refresh. And now we see that teacher's name has moved. Okay, let's look at another example. What if we just want the teacher's full name? We don't want the TN001. Let's take a look at another example. So here, let's click new. And let's click formula. Let's click next. And again, we'll put teacher's full name name. And again, what will we click here for the formula return type? You guessed it, it will be text because we're going to return a text. In this example, again, pretty simple. We're going to click insert field, come down to teacher, first name, insert, I like to say, and see, you see here, it shows we can use and. I like to use plus. Space. Now we're going to put a space right here. Let's actually see what it looks like if we don't put a space. You may remember this from when we did our merge fields. But just in case, let's use this as an example. Now let's insert, again, teacher. We went from our student down to our teacher, and let's go to our last name, insert, check our syntax, no errors, all right, next, next, and we'll go to our save, next, next, save. All right, this time we know to go to our page layout, And let's move our teacher's full name over to the side with the teachers. Let's click Save. Move over to our production side. Remember, refresh. We always forget about it. And there we go. Remember when I said, let's see what it looks like without those quotation marks in a space? See? It just puts them together. Let's fix it real quick. Again, come over here. We see this where our teacher's full name. Let's come down here to edit. Come down to our formula. Now here we'll put a quotation, space, quotation. Don't forget to put that extra plus. And watch this, when I click save, it's going to check the syntax anyway. And come over here. You named it. Let's refresh. And what do you know? We have that space. I hope this helps you understand the use of a cross object formula. And there are many other purposes we can use cross object formulas for too. If you have any questions, drop a comment. You like what you see? Subscribe, follow. I hope this adds value to your journey. Thanks, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye now.